All right, well, hello, grade eight. Uh, we're getting into lesson 8.6. And back in 8.5, <clears throat> we had a uh, small introduction to scientific notation where you had to write numbers using a single digit and then write them as a to the power of 10 at rounding numbers and so forth. Today, we are specifically getting into scientific notation. Now, for a number to be in scientific notation, it has to be written as a multiplication problem. So we're using points. Your book and uh, these examples over here that we'll do in a few minutes have multiplication used in X, but you get the idea. But here we're going to use just the dots for to show multiplication. Now, a couple rules where all three of these examples apply and are written in scientific notation. A couple of rules that apply. First of all, this first number has to be no less than 1, and it has to be less than 10. This number here, it can be 1. It can be equal to 1, okay? But it can be equal or greater to 1, but it has to be less than 10. All of these numbers here are equal or greater than 1, and they're less than 10. The also the other part of scientific notation means it has there it has to be written as a power of 10, okay, with an integer exponent. Like 10 to the power of 7, 10 to the power of 3, 10 to the power of negative 3. When we're talking about base 10 exponents, it's just moving the decimal. This means we're going to move the decimal 7 places. This means we're going to move the decimal 3 places. Uh, when it's a positive integer, we're going to move it to the right that many places. So this, the integer would be moved three places to the right. Here it would be moved seven places to the right. A negative exponent, we would move the decimal to the left, okay? And that would be a negative exponent there. So that's kind of what is happening there. So first of all, what's very important, definition of scientific notation this first number in the multiplication problem has to be at least one. It can be one, just can't be less than one. And it has to be less than 10. This second number in the multiplication problem has to be written as an integer, uh, a base 10 exponent, okay? So we'll come back to that board here momentarily. Write the number in scientific notation. Write the number in scientific notation. So first of all, I go to 50,000, and remember what I have to do. I have to find a number that's going to work. It can be a decimal number. It doesn't need to be, but it has to be at least 1, but it has to be less than 10. So in this situation, that number is going to be 5. That's the number that's there, 5. So that's what I'm going to work with. Well, 5 times what? Well, how many times would I have to move the decimal? to make 50,000. Well, if I'm at five, I'd have to move the decimal once, twice, three, four times to make the answer 50,000. So this is gonna be 10 to the power of four. Final answer. 25 million. Well, so I'm looking at 25, but my number has to be at least one and it has to be less than 10. So I'm gonna to have to do that as 2.5. That's what's gonna to have to happen there. I'm not gonna put 25, because that's bigger than 10. I'm gonna put 2.5. Well, if my decimal is here, how many places am I gonna move the decimal to get, make it all the way over here? Well, once, twice, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna be times 10 to the power of seven. Moving on, 683. Well, they're all digits here. So what I'm gonna have to do to get it at least one, but less than 10, it's gonna have to be 6.83. How many times am I gonna have to move the decimal to get it to be 683? Well, I'm gonna have to move it once, twice okay, to get it to be 683. So this would end up being six and 83 hundredths times 10 
to the power of two. Final answer. All right, here we go again. Ooh, now we've got numbers that are less than one, which means we're going to be doing a negative exponent, okay? So once again, my number has to be at least one, but less than 10. So once again, the only digit that's there is a five. So I'm just gonna go with five. Now, the question is, with five, if the decimal's here and it's five, how many places am I moving the decimal to get it here? Well, one, two, three. I'm moving it three places to the left. So it's times 10 to the power of negative three. All right, let's look at this one. Let's, we'll go back to number five. So number six, uh, tenths, hundreds, thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, five hundred six ten. Uh, I don't think that's right. Five hundred six millions, tenths, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions. Five hundred six millions. Well, once again, I need to be at least one, but bit, but smaller than ten. So that's going to be five and six hundredths. Five and six hundredths. So the question is, with the five and six hundredths, I would imagine my decimal there, so it matches up with the five and six hundredths. How many places to the left did I have to move the decimal to get it back to its original spot? Well, one, two, three, four. That's going to be times ten to the power of negative four. All right? This one here, zero and tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, thirty-three hundred millions. Once again, equal or greater than one, but less than ten. That's going to be three point three or three and three tenths. I put the decimal here. How many places do I have to move that? to the left to get it back here to its original spot. One, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's gonna be 3.3 .3 times 10 to the power of negative seven, final answer. All right, let's move on to the second part. Write the number in standard form. Write the number in standard form, meaning now we have three examples we're going to look at. They're in scientific notation, but we need to make sure now we're getting them in standard form. So basically now we have 6 times 10 to the power of 7. I know it's going to start with a 6. And essentially then it's saying, okay, the decimal's here. I'm going to move that decimal seven places to the left. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm gonna fill all these empty spots with zeros. And then I'm gonna end up with essentially 60 million. And I might rewrite that up here just without all the little curves. But that's going to be my final answer. All right, let's look at 9.9 .9 times 10 to the power of negative five. Well, okay. So now we're gonna be taking this and we're gonna be moving it to the left. So I'm gonna start with 9.9, .9. okay? But I'm moving it to the left five places, okay? Scientific notation, one and two, three, Four. There's my decimal. I'm going to fill all of those spots with I'm going to fill all those spots with uh, oh, hold on a second. Five. Negative five. Something was wrong there. I need to move it a fifth spot. Sorry about that. I was thinking four from that there. Sorry about that. So five places, one, two, three, four, five. The decimal is going to go there. So we're going to have a decimal. 
with four zeros. 99, essentially tenths, hundredths, thousandths, ten thousandths, hundred thousandths, millionths, 99 millionths. Last one, one and 285 thousandths times 10 to the power of four. Well, we're starting with one and 285 thousandths. We're moving that decimal four places to the right because it's a positive exponent. One, two, three, four. Put a zero there. All right. We basically end up with 12,850. That's our final answer. All right. We'll talk to you later. Uh, eighth graders, scientific notation. Bye.